Uh, good day, sir. Uh, can we know you, sir? Yes, my name is Mbongo Gomtmayat. I'm from, uh, I'm the second, second secretary of uh, Angolan Embassy. Uh, which, uh, in which country? Ang Angola. Okay, you are the uh, second secretary of uh, Angola Embassy. Is it in London or in Ireland? It's in, in London. In London, okay. But we cover also Ireland. Okay, you cover also Ireland? Yes. Okay. So, uh, you are, why are you in Ireland? Did you come for any special function? Yes, uh, I, uh, we, were, we were invited to, to cover the, high, the commission of recon, reconciliation okay. in Ireland. Okay, yeah, we've been seeing uh, that there's a bit of a faction uh, issue uh, uh, towards uh, uh, harmonization of different groups in Ireland. So that is why you are here today. Yes, that, that's why uh, I, I come to, to see how, how the Angolan embassy can help to Angolan people who live in Ireland. Okay. To to be together. Okay. That's why our ambassador sent me here okay. because he is not available to come because he got another appointment. Appointment. Okay. So he sent me here for that. Okay. Interesting. And uh, should you say that your visit today uh, is a success? Uh, I can't say a success. But it was good. Okay. It, it, it was good because I, I could see and I think that I will be able to, to transmit to my ambassador what is happening in Ireland. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. And uh, can you tell us more about the services of your embassy uh, in London? Which country do you cover? And how can Angolans in Ireland particularly uh, assess the services of your embassy? Well, we, 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 we got the, our, uh, our uh, consular session. Okay. Consular session. And we got the, our email is the uh, Angola, consulate of Angola. Dot, dot org dot uk okay yeah this is uh, our site they can access the, this can you repeat it again it, it's a cons consulate aroma angola okay dot com okay. Oh, dot, dot, uh, let, let me repeat cons consulate aroma angola dot org dot uk okay yeah this is a uh, Aside. And we, 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 we've got every information that the Angola need okay. in this, uh, this site. Okay, that's interesting. And uh, how would you uh, say, do you know the estimates uh, or actual number of Angolans living in the UK and Ireland? Would you know that? Um, in, in the UK, we, 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 we got uh, um, about 22... Two, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not but about twenty something thousand. Yeah. Okay. Something. What of Ireland? Do you do you have a record of Angolans living here? No. That, that's why we we, 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 are, we are here. Okay. They they, they gave 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 us a, a, a number. They, okay. they said that they they have a, a hundred. Okay. In Ireland. That's why we we asked them to. To make sure okay. of that population, okay. because our ambassador is worried about this. Okay. We have trying to to make a contact with the with, with, with the organizations in the island, island to to know how and where we are. Okay. Interesting. Are you based in London? Is the embassy in UK based in London? Yes. Okay. And uh, let's go to uh, Angola a bit. How would you assess the current uh, development effort of Eduardo Dos Santos? I think that the, our president is doing a very, very, very good job. He is making very effort to 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 give uh, to our our people 
good conditions of living. We, we got more opportunities of uh, work, more okay. opportunities of a job, uh, health, health, uh, education. Okay. I think that Angola is a country for the future. Okay, and uh, are you optimistic about uh, consolidating the efforts of uh, democracy and the peaceful reconciliation in that country since uh, and the end of the war? I think that everybody can see this. Yeah. It just was done. We just have democracy in the world. Everybody can see this. Okay, and... Uh, Angolans living in Ireland, do they need to travel to London to get their papers normalized or how do you render consular services to them? Do they have to post to the address or can you just tell us the structure you have put in place for those in this country to reach, uh, to assess the services of your embassy? Okay, we, 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 use, we used to come here. Okay. The service, consulate service used to come to Ireland to solve the Angolan problem. Okay, do you have particular time you come? Or dates, or days, no, or we, months? We, we, we work with the community, with Leaders. the representative of the community. Okay. Uh, they, 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 when when they, they, they say that we, we got, uh, for example, 10 people who need this kind of treatment, yeah. we organize people to come here okay. and to... To do this. Okay. And how often have you done that? Me? Yeah. Me probably, uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, working here, yeah. one here, and oh. I just come, this is the second time. I okay, this is the second time you're here, coming. But the others have been coming. Okay. Okay, so do you have any special message for Angolans living in Europe, particularly those in Ireland? Well, the message that uh, I have to give to particularly the people who live in Ireland yeah. is that uh, our country is developing. If uh, they, they, uh, they are just here to develop themselves, yeah. they get the stages. Mm -hmm. so they, they must improve for one day if they back to Angola to help with the growing of our country because we need people to help to make our country more strong than it is. Okay, once more, for the sake of our viewers, what's your name? My name is Ngongo Gonsmaya. Okay, thank you Ngongo. It's a pleasure talking to you.